Kara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be talking about how to make pins for Pinterest for writers. And this is specifically for fiction writers as opposed to nonfiction writers because I think there's different ways to go about it. But I thought that we would look at a couple different genres. And this one, first one is um, mystery books. So one of the very first things every author wants to do is they love their, their um, cover. And so they want to put that up. But there's other ways to do it. So here's a post about um, teen mysteries that adults will love, right? And that's a really neat way to put your um, thing in. A lot of these ones that we're going to get excited about are BookBub. So BookBub is an amazing um, site and their branding and their marketing on Pinterest is really good. So you know, don't don't copy exactly what they did or take their thing and take the book bub off, but start thinking the way that they're advertising. So here's nine books to read if you liked Gone Girl, okay? So what they're taking is the popularity of that book and saying, that book and that movie and saying, okay, this. So if you can say, so one of my favorite um, sets of writers is um, the guys at the self-publishing podcast. And I have to say that their one book really reminded me of um, some of the, and I'm going to forget his name, Michael Crichton's books. And so you could say, hey, if you loved Michael Crichton, take a peek at this book. And that way you're using the popularity of someone else to help promote yours. Or five books to read now if you're missing Michael Crichton because he died and he's not writing anymore. Okay, 21 Modern Mysteries, okay, and so one of the things they do here is I'm sure they're mixing them up. So for me, I can recognize the girl with the dragon tattoo and then Kathy Reich's right off the bat, right? This is um, that TV series Bones, and this is uh, a, a big name movie. So the rest of these, you want to kind of mix it up with things that actually work, okay? And so here's, um, the, the, the covers are always really good. Um, there's, there's James Patterson's books in order. You could do your books in order. I know some, uh, writers have their series in order. And I will tell you at just, just FYI, do it on Goodreads, do it on a blog post, do it on something. But that whole J.D. Robb, I, um, I look up on Goodreads all the time, J.D. Robb's books in order. Um, so just thinking of things that we could do. Okay, so next let's look at romance books. Now romance is a little bit different. Um, so here's this one. So there's just a book cover, but look at this title. 26 of the hottest new books that you'll want to read this summer. So they're kind of counting on this um, being able to boost these. And this is on a board called Books Worth Reading. So you could make a board on Pinterest that talked about it. Um, romantic books you can lose yourself in. That's awesome. Um, 11 books hotter than Shades of Grey. Wow, that's that sounds a little woohoo. Um, okay, 13 small, oh, this is amazing. 13 small town romances for Gilmore Girls fans. So that is boosting the popularity of the Gilmore Girls and bringing it into something totally um, appropriate for today. Okay, I like this one, um, the Latin Lovers Bundle. So if you have, you know, say, looking at this, you know, the Witch's Chronicle, something like that, that, that would be really good for you to be able to um, jump on that. Look at the, the, the graphics on this. This is ev really good, and this has... 14,000 pins, 20 gripping page turners every 20 something should read. And you don't necessarily have to build a website to make this happen. You could do a list in Goodreads. You could do a, 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 a make a wish list in Amazon and include your book in it. Like these are all things that you have to stop getting concerned with how am I gonna actively do this and start thinking about what people are going to want and then figuring out how to make it work, right? Okay, so this is Cozy Mysteries. Now, I am i admit it, I read Cozy Mysteries 
all the little cat mysteries and the dog mysteries and the pie mysteries. Um, but I have to say that if you write these, there's not exactly, like there's not as much competition here. And so you could um, definitely really start to break this out because I don't think that this is as competitive. So if your book is somewhat cozy mystery genre, um, then you might want to start thinking about how you could maybe make some pins on Pinterest and really get those shares, okay? Uh, this one is science fiction books, okay? I love science fiction books. And this is one that really came to me. This has 553 shares. And it's a book review of The Invisible Man. So they're just doing a book review of something that's already been written. Um, I thought this was a great infographic. A lot of times I have um, a really hard time thinking about what I could make an infographic about, but you could do this um, even if you're self-published, right? The best-selling self-published books of all times. So for science fiction, you could include um, Andy Weir and The Martian and things like that. Um, or the most well-researched science fiction books of all time, Andy could do that. That would be really good to do. Try to figure out who your, um, your books are like. Like, if your books are like Neil Gaiman, then figure out a way to use that in your marketing to help increase it. You're going to be helping him. Like, never try to, like, say, my book is Neil Gaiman and it's not, or going somewhere else. But just try to figure out, um, there's a great saying, and I wish I knew who said it, but readers can read faster than you can write, right? So you need to be able to figure out how to um, get people to be able to enjoy your books by possibly recommending some other ones. 43 must, oh, that's for writers. That's the hard part is a lot of the stuff is for writers as opposed to readers. So make sure when you're doing a board or a book um, banner or a banner that you're actually doing it for your readers and not for yourself um, or for other writers. I find that's something that authors often fall into. But I love this one. Mystery, science fiction, fantasy, historical fiction. So um, make sure that you know which genre your book would go into. We know that from writing. Um, each, each genre has conventions, and you got to be careful about making sure yours go in there. And then make sure that the pins you're making go into those conventions, right? Like, it would be really weird to see in these science fiction books those same little cute these guys, these pictures of cats and cozy hotels and things like that. So that's something you really want to try to make sure you're focusing on, making sure even the, not just for your book titles or your book covers, but also for the graphics you're using on Pinterest, that your target reader would actually recognize it. So I talked about BookBub. You can do a search up here on the search bar for BookBub. But I love checking out what they've done as far as pins. 27 of the most exciting new books books. Um, 15 books to read if you love a shocking plot twist. So if you have a book with an amazing shock twist, then plot twist, then you should do something like that. Um, nine addicting mysteries, Doubt and Abbey fans will devour. This is kind of like the Gilmore Girls we saw before. This is jumping on to something in current events that is going to help people find yours. Um, so hopefully this helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.